Welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today's video tutorial is about connecting the SkyDroid H12 Pro to the CUA VV5 Nano Flight Controller. SkyDroid H12 Pro Remote Control is equipped with wireless high-definition image transmission technology independently developed by Yunjua Technology, which combines remote control, data, and image links into one. It has adaptive frequency band characteristics and can automatically switch to the working frequency with the least interference, and the communication distance can reach up to 10 kilometers. The video is mainly divided into three parts. What products will be used in this test? How to do the wiring? How to display the results? What products will be used in this test? Products used in this wiring video include SkyDroid H12 Pro, CUAVV5 Nano, CUAV NEO 3X, CUAV C Compass. Cables used include H12 Pro S. Bus Plus Telem Cable, NEO 3X Can Cable, C Compass Can Cable, V5 Nano Power Module. How to do the wiring? Connect the S. Bus interface and telemetry port of the H12 Pro to the RC port and telem port of the V5 Nano flight controller, respectively. Connector of H12 Pro is a 2.54 mm DuPont 6 pin. The telemetry port connector of V5 Nano flight controller is GH1.25 6 pin. And the RC port connector of V5 Nano flight controller is 2.54 mm DuPont 3 pin. Connect the C Compass CAN interface to the CAN 1 port of the V5 Nano flight controller using the C Compass CAN cable. Both ends of the cable are GH1.25 4 pin connectors. Connect the NEO 3X CAN interface to the CAN 2 port of the V5 Nano flight controller using the NEO 3X CAN cable. The NEO 3X CAN connector uses a CUAV custom waterproof connector, and the CAN 2 port connector of the V5 Nano flight controller is GH1.25 4 pin. Connect the power module and battery to supply power to the V5 Nano flight controller. How to display the results. CUAV NEO 3X and CUAV C Compass require parameter setup in Mission Planner. In the config interface, find full parameter list and set the following parameters. Can P1 driver set to 1?
Can P2 driver set to 1? NTF LED type set to 231. GPS type set to 9. After setting the parameters, turn on the remote controller, open the tool assistant, click advanced settings and enter the password 999. Check the baud rate, it should be set to 57600 then click save. Enter the QGC ground control station. The ground station connects automatically, you're good to go. If not, go to the top left corner of the application settings, click communication links and click add. Here, I've already added a link in advance. Let's go into edit and take a look. First, give it any name. Select type UDP and set port 14550. Enter server address 192.168.144.10 then click add server and finally click OK. In the communication links interface, click connect. Return to the flight interface. When we move the flight controller, we can see its real-time status on the ground station. Click the top left corner to enter settings, then go to the RC calibration interface. When we toggle the remote controller, we can see that S.Bus control is working properly. That concludes this video tutorial on how to connect the SkyDroid H12 Pro to the CUAVV5 Nano flight controller. Thank you for watching and supporting us. If you have any questions about the video content or would like us to explain any part in more detail in a future video, feel free to leave a comment. Don't forget to follow the World Drone Market channel. We'll continue to bring you more drone equipment reviews, tutorials, and practical guides. See you in the next video.